the purpose of this video is in regards to uh, Intel's 13900K and 14900 Gen as well. It could be either the K, KS, or KF. Uh, apparently, there's people that are getting errors like this uh, out of video memory error. This error here is got nothing to do with the GPU. Uh, this has got to do with the settings in uh, the BIOS. The BIOS settings on the PCs have been incorrectly set from the manufacturer. So just to show you guys, uh, 1300K, KF, KS, 1400KF, uh, basically you're going to have to change in your BIOS the amps and the wattage. So the amps is, should be 307 amps and the wattage is 253. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this so everybody can enjoy their computer and enjoy the speed of their computer which includes using um, XMP because a lot of people are having problems running XMP uh, so I'm just going to show you guys like just going to reboot the computer and I'm going to go into the BIOS and show you what needs to be changed unfortunately I, w I have to do this video with my cell phone just to show you guys how this is going to work the settings that are default are incorrect and this is on a MSI uh, motherboard. Okay, so I'm in the BIOS right now on an MSI computer. Okay, let me just zoom in on this camera, or this phone anyways. It's not very clear. Uh, just give me a sec here. Okay, so I have it turned up to 4000 megahertz. So this is on high speed RAM. Okay, so you would go to OC settings, okay. Uh, you're going to need to go to where it says um, advanced CPU configuration. Okay. Scroll to where it says long duration power limit. Uh, you would have to put in the number 253 in here. It's usually set at auto and the default at auto is very high, which is over 4096. You guys are going to have to switch long duration power limit to 253 watts, okay. Uh, this stays the same, 56 seconds. A short duration power limit must be 253, and your CPU current amp should be set at 307, okay. Check this in your BIOS because I'm pretty sure that you guys have different numbers, and if you're running a 13900K or KF or 14900 Gen, this needs to be changed. Okay, so once you change this, your computer should be good to go and you shouldn't have any problems with uh, crashes in uh, any games. So if you guys are experiencing uh, memory errors uh, or won't boot up the game, uh, that is what you're going to need to do to run the game. Okay, so I'm just letting you guys know, uh, you know, this is just basically uh, demonstrating this because a lot of the BIOSes uh, don't have um, the information set correctly for the 13900K and 14900 CPU. So even like right now, uh, I just booted. Uh, if I want to go into like, let's just say a game like Fortnite, I've already, I already have my settings set to DirectX 12. Okay, so it shouldn't, there should not be any issues um, running the game. Okay just to let you guys know so like right now I just I'm launching Fortnite as you could see a lot of guys that are running 13 gen 14 gen they're having problems running the game so I'm just showing you that I'm able to launch the game and there's no issues so anyways guys um, I just want you guys to make changes to those settings because a lot of the settings are incorrectly set uh, it doesn't matter if it's MSI, ASUS, or whatever motherboard you have. The settings are incorrectly set. So you guys are going to have to make changes in order to get this working properly on your PC. Anyways guys, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And hopefully that solves all your memory crash errors that you guys are getting with your 13900K or 14900K computer. Okay guys, anyways guys, have a good day and take care.